Hey guys, today I'll be explaining the Constitutional Convention and the two conflicting ideas that went into creating the Great Compromise. So, first of all, there's the Virginia Plan, which had powerful central government with three branches. There was a two-house legislator, legislature, one directly elected, one nominated by the state government, and then the legislat uh, the legislators would select the executive and judiciary. Versus the New Jersey Plan, which strengthened the Articles of Confederation. There was one House legislature, uh, one vote per state, and the representatives chosen by the state government. Congress can tax, and su the Supreme Court appointed uh, were, were appointed for life by the executive. Now, bits and pieces of both of these plans were put in together to create the Great Compromise, and these included a powerful central government with three branches, a two-house legislature, one directly elected, and one nominated by the state. And then, from the New Jersey plan, we have Congress can tax, and Supre the Supreme Court is appointed for life by the executive. And that's what makes up the Great Compromise.